All right, I want to talk about moving a sprite on the screen. In particular, I want to move this image sprite, this book picture or book cover picture, right to the middle of my canvas. Okay, and I've got a move button. When I click that button, I want that to happen. So I'm going to go over to the blocks. And, um, you know, I've got this move button dot click. And what I want to do is move to the middle. But let's, let's do something really, you know, simpler first. Let's just move this guy to a particular place. Because that's actually simpler. Okay, and the X coordinate is the horizontal. So I'm going to give it, you know, I think my screen uh, is about 300 wide. I don't know, something like that. So I'll just change the X to 250. And then Y, let's make it 10. Okay, so I'll just copy this block and change it to 10. So when I do this, okay, and I, you know, my phone's projecting on the screen, so I'm going to actually run this. We're doing live testing right now in App Inventor. When I touch the move button, you should see the image sprite move. So I just touched it and it moved, you know, so I think this is probably X is 250. Um, it's the left top corner is the X, Y coordinate for the image sprite, and we're 10 pixels down from the top. Okay, but I want to go to the middle of the canvas, so I'm going to get rid of these concrete numbers. Okay, we're going to use more of an abstract reference, right? I could try to figure out exactly how wide and tall my canvas is, but what if it's running on a different device, right? I want to make it so no matter how big my phone is, I want to make it work no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to go to canvas, and I kind of want to grab canvas width and then divide that by two and do the same with the height. So I'm going to grab a divide block. I'm just using type block. You can just type in what you want and App Inventor will create it for you. I'm going to change that to a two. And for my X coordinate, I want canvas.width divided by two. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a multiply. And I kind of want the same thing, but for the Y coordinate, I don't want to use the width, I want to use the height because Y is the vertical um, location, right, of, of the thing. And I want to, uh, sorry, why did I grab a multiply? <laughs> I want to grab another divide. So let me get rid of this whole thing. And I'll grab this, I'll just copy this whole divide block. Okay, I'm going to stick that in there, but I'm going to change this canvas.height. Okay, now this is not quite right, but let me show you how it works. So. Let's say my canvas width is, is 300, then this will change the X to 150. And if my height is 400, it would change the Y coordinate to, to 200. So if I touch the move button, you can see that's where my, my image moves to. Okay. Now really, you know, I got to be careful because like I said, it's the left top corner of the image which gets moved to where you want it. And really, if I want this guy in the middle, I need to take into account how wide and how tall he is, the actual image by itself. Okay, so I'm actually going to minus some from both of these numbers. So I'm going to grab a minus block. All right, and what I'm going to want to do is get the sprites width and height. So I'm going to grab sprite width and use it. Okay, and then I'm also going to need the, the height, but let's just start with the width. So I'm going to take the width. And I really want half of it. I want to take away half of the width, and that should get this guy to the right place. So I need another divide. Okay, and I'll grab another two. All right, so I'm going to take the width divided by two, and that's what I want to subtract from my original, right? So go to the middle of the canvas, but make sure you back up or go to the left half of the image sprites width. Okay, and we're kind of running out of hardware or room here, but that's that's basically what we what we want. Once again, I'm just going to copy this whole block because we kind of want the equivalent except we want to use height for the y coordinate. Okay? So I you know, we're going to go for the x coordinate, we're going to go halfway, right? Like we're doing now, except we don't want to quite go halfway. We want to go backwards half the width and that should get this guy so it's right in the middle on the X coordinate and same thing on the Y. Let's try it. I'm going to touch the move button and you should see, yeah, there it goes. There's the image pretty much in the middle of the canvas.